since we are solving an equation, the first thing we need to do is clear our fractions. And you multiply every term on both sides by the LCD. So you need to figure out what your LCD is first. So if you're not sure what the smallest number is that a 6, 10, and 5 will go into, I'm going to show you a process to find your LCD. So write down your denominators. And then what you do is you break each of your denominators down into prime factors. So 6 is 3 times 2. 10 is 5 times 2. And 5 is just 5 times 1. And then what you do is you list all your factors. So I see 2s, 5s, and 3s. And then you go back and ask yourself, 2, what's the most a 2 shows up here once? What's the most a 2 shows up in that second one once? What's the most a 2 shows up in the 5? None. So what was the most you said one time? Your exponent on each one of your factors will be the most that factor shows up in any one case. All right, let's figure, figure it out for five. How many fives are here? None. One, one. Most you said was one. Three. One. None, none. Most you said was one. Two times five is ten. Ten times three is thirty. So that's your LCD. So you're going to apply every term on both sides by thirty. And I'm actually writing, you know, showing that. So 6 will go into 30 five times. So that's 5 times A minus 1 minus 10 will go into 30 three times. 3 times 3 is 9 times an A minus 4. 5 will go into 30 six times. That's 6 times a 4A plus 12. So I get rid of my fractions, and then the next step, I will get rid of my parentheses. So this is 5a minus 5 minus 9a plus 36 equals 24a plus 72. So let's combine like terms on both sides. 5a, uh, 5a minus 9a is a negative 4a. Negative 5 plus 36 is a positive 31 and there's nothing to combine on the right. So now let's add 4a to both sides, and that will give me 28a plus 72. And now let's, what, subtract 72 from both sides. So that will give me a negative 41 equals 28a. Now divide both sides by 28, I get negative 41 over 28 equals a.